So my boy Tojo finally got a freaking crest. <laughs> I'm well excited for this. So this um, chapter of Beelzebub, not too much happened. It was a pretty quick fight and I did say like last week that the manga I did like that he was taking really well pacing with some fights, especially he seems like gonna pace well, um, like Kunidas and Kanzaki's, but I think Tojo was just to show like how ridiculously overpowered he's got. So, you know, and besides like uh Ogre's one angle and that too pretty quick. But the start of the chapter it was actually just talking about, you know, uh what like um Ogre's lacking, saying, you know, you're being really struggling and he was saying, like, you know, why do you never turn off the emblem? It's like, it, you just had it delete, uh, depleting your power. And it's like leaving your phone screen on while not in use. Like, you won't have any power left when you need to use it. And his master, like, you know, he never uses his. He never has his on. So that's sort of what's happening. And he also said that also goes to, like, your Mark Crest users. Like, um, you can't have them. He's saying, you better, like, make... Um, me use more of the powers, or, or else your boys don't have the prayer. And he said, especially like Tojo, who doesn't even have the crest. And I spoiled it earlier, saying, yeah, he, the motherfucker, did have the crest. Like, um, so he was against number five and number one, and basically they were just tag teaming up on him. And at first they were like, oh yeah, I can only take him up. Like, even though I'm like the weakest one here out of them, he's saying, you know, Yasuka, let him go. I want to beat him up. And you know, he was actually giving him run, a run through his money, and he's like, yo, I've been training, like, I've been sweating until I want to cough up blood, and he's basically making all that tennis shit that it was, and actually, ironically, when he was, like, freaking going, you know, that's tennis, you fool, Furorichi's, um face actually came out, like, and then, like, what the hell, and they actually, since they ate all his souls, now we know that they're all in his mouth, and he's like, yeah, all I have to do is punch his stomach out, and I should get um part of Furorichi's soul back. And, you know, Ogre was saying, yo, he isn't the type of person to lose anyway. Uh, and he was just getting pummeled by um, number five. And it was, like, ridiculous. And the guy, uh, number one, he, Yasuka, he was just there just smoking. And then freaking Dojo just grabs him and saying, yo, is that all you got? And he's like, sorry to say that. And he's like, but we aren't even in the same league. And he just punches him. And he and he even flies out the freaking window, like how strong he makes him go fly for all the corridors. And that was like ridiculous. And it showed that he is number four on um his list of powers. I was like, holy shit. That's still even impressive that, you know, Ogre like Ogre has given this power. Not even that for Richie was powerful and he didn't even have the crest. That's what even was like powerful as well, but Looks like they, next week we will be getting his, um, hopefully his fight with number one. That's going to be on, but you do see like a little, it ends with a little bit of comedy saying, yo, you do have one, even though he doesn't know what it is. And you see like the Thurichi face again, it was pretty funny. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed this chapter, like I thought it was good. Not as serious as the last year one, like last week got you really hyped for the match setups, and then we got the actual fights themselves, and it was a little bit quick for my, but, so that, but I still enjoyed it, but. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this um, chapter, but that's all for me, so thank you very much for watching. Remember, strap that band up, sign out, and I'll see you next time, people.